hello student so let's start our discussion in previous tutorial what we have discussed okay in previous tutorial uh, we have discussed how we can use the user defined function now uh, let's uh, discuss what we are going to learn today so today we are going to learn file handling operations in python so for that uh, we require uh, one text file so i will tell you that how to create a text file so here click on new then click on text file okay uh, then whatever content you want to put over here you can put okay and then simply click on save okay so it will uh, save a file with a uh, particular name whatever name is specified let's say if you want to rename this file instead of untitled.txt uh, file1.txt then you can do it like this again uh, click on save and then close it now let's go to the uh, ipynb file means notebook file where we will perform the file handling operation so first most easiest way file open we will store the uh, file descriptor open file descriptor into fo so fo is equals to open and then name of the file here i have already created a file called sample.txt okay which contain uh, text clear with this so we are throughout this experiment we will use this file sample.txt and uh, we want to read uh, we want to open this file into the read mode now if we discuss about mode then uh, read write then append then uh, read plus then uh, write plus modes are available so let's see that uh, how we can uh, create a file and how we can uh, store content into it so here first we will read the file fo is equals to open uh, the file and here we will specify the mode in uh, bracket then uh, for line in fo means we will try to access the file line by line so let's see how we can do it for line into fo means uh, till we will get the line we will print the line that's it very simple so this is how we can read the file clear with this so here we are getting the output now let's see that uh, if we want to write the file okay then uh, we have to create two files now uh, we have to create another file yes so uh, let's have an example we will use this same line f o is equals to open we will use one pointer to read the file okay and then we will use another pointer f o is equals to open let's say uh, you, we want to give a new name let's say new file new file dot txt and that we will open in write mode clear with this okay now same thing we will read the content from the uh, open file okay means fo and then we will uh, paste the content or we will write the content into another file so for line in fo we will use print function print line okay so till now we have used print to uh, read the content and uh, sorry to display the content in the terminal okay but uh, here we will use print function to write content into the file okay so print line and uh, fo or uh, sorry f fw okay so here we will have to specify that file is equals to fw that's it let's execute it and uh, so it's executed now we will go to the home page there should be a new file.txt 
let's open it okay so no content is available over here so what can be the problem yes so we have to close the file descriptor so let's close the file descriptor for that we will use close method okay and then let's execute it again then go to the uh, home directory and then let's open what content is available yes as you can see the content is there so uh, here as you can see uh, we require only two line of code to write the content into the file how this uh, code will work it will read the content uh, line by line and then it will write content into the uh, another file using uh, file descriptor fw now uh, there are few methods that which uh, we, we, uh, which you can try uh, with the file for example read is there then uh, read line is there then uh, another method is there that write then uh, tell method is there then close method is there then uh, file number means file descriptor so uh, these methods are there okay read will be used to uh, read the content and then write will be used to write content read line will uh, perform the read operation using uh, uh, line by line reading method then uh, tell will uh, tell the current po position of pointer into the file then uh, close will close the file file number will uh, tell the file descriptor value so uh, this is how uh, we can uh, uh, read the file that there is another method for reading file that uh, that we have discussed in uh, first that is fo is equals to open and then print line okay now uh, let's see that how we can copy the content from one file to another file uh, using uh, iteration okay so when this method will be helpful in many case what will happen the size of the file will be very huge okay so we cannot copy entire file uh, at a time so what we will do we will create a buffer yes so let me give you one example we will use the same file fo is equals to open then sample.txt then read then fw is equals to open let's say new file 2.txt and that we will open in write mode then uh, what we will do we will read some content into the buffer so buf equals to fo dot read and uh, let's say we will read only 10 byte then we will use while length of buffer is not zero okay means there is some content into the buffer we will continue the iteration into loop so if uh, w means file write dot write and what we will write whatever we have read into the buffer so buf okay and then we will uh, display uh, dot the way it is displayed in uh, a, as a part of progress so end equals to space and then again we will read the next line a4 dot read 10 so how this will work this will read the first 10 byte into the buffer and then it will check whether file contains uh, means this buffer contains any data if it contains any data then it will write means uh, this length function will return some non-zero value okay so uh, 
it will enter into the loop but after writing the 10 byte to the output file it will uh, display dot this is not uh, mandatory this is just for uh, formatting so then we will again read the 10 byte so if uh, there is not end of file then uh, we will write that 10 byte into the output file so this way it will uh, continue into the loop till there is not end of file so how end of file will be detected so whenever there will be end of, end of file then uh, this will return zero okay so this loop will be over okay and then after that we can display message to the user that uh, file is copied okay or data transfer operation is done so uh, yes so this is you can see it is still growing yes so once the operation will be over then uh, we can check the file and uh, you can see this many number of dots we will get uh, in output so uh, this is how we can uh, deal with the uh, file yes there is one correction that uh, here we have to uh, put the uh, buf otherwise it will enter into the infinite loop so content will be copied but this will enter into the infinite loop so this is how we can do let's try to modify it let's go with the 100 byte and then uh, let's give the new file name uh, new file dot 3 okay so this is how you will get the output okay and if we are uh, let's say new file 3 uh, then let's go to the uh, home directory new file 3 dot txt so let's see uh, okay uh, we for again we forgot to close the file so fw dot close and uh, then uh, we will execute it then let's refresh it yes there you can see we are having the content okay so this is how uh, we can deal with the file handling now uh, here uh, there are lots of other function which are dealing with the directories as well but we will not focus on this why because the, this uh, uh, primary level uh, file handling function will be helpful to us uh, when we are uh, working on uh, data science so if we are uh, reading a data from csv file then uh, we can uh, go with it and then uh, we can use this basic function so the, uh, there won't be any need of advanced function so in this tutorial uh, we will keep up to this uh, more we will discuss in uh, next tutorial okay so thank you